So um, do you want to go into chapter 39 next? And let's uh, deal with 39. Oh, okay. yes. Okay. All right. Chapter 39. We're back to Joseph. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. 39 verse 1. Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt and Potiphar, an Egyptian officer of Pharaoh, the captain of the bodyguard, bought him from the Ishmaelites who had taken him down there. Yeah. Okay. So he's bought now, Joseph. The Lord was with Joseph. The Lord was with mm -hmm. Joseph, the scripture says. How could the Lord be with Joseph when he was sold into slavery? <laughs> because the Lord is with us no matter what trials we go through. That's true. You know what? We go, he says, I'll, go, I'll be with you when you go through the fire. Mm -hmm. I'll be with you when you go through the smoke. Yep. I'll be, I will not take you around the Red Sea, but I will let you go through the Red Sea. Yeah. I will always be with you. So yeah. when we go through trials, sometimes we say, God, do you love me? Are you there for me, God? Why me? Yeah. Why am I going through this? Yeah. When in, instead we should be saying, no, I, I, I did this years ago. I'm just going to go quickly. I was having, we were having financial problems, but God was doing miraculous things. My kids were little then. God was doing miraculous things about making us pay our bills. I mean, miraculous things. Yeah. I mean, somebody deliver food to my house, you know, mm. I didn't know anything about well, and I said to my husband, I said, someday I want to praise God publicly and tell people what he did for us. And he's going, what? Really? You know, and he's going, why would you do that? I said, well, look at his miraculous hand. Then there was days I'd say to my husband, I can't eat another hot dog. I'm so tired of eating hot dogs. And my husband said, we're going to get through with Dean. He was the one that had the strength, you know. But I said, someday I want to give testimony about what God has done in our lives. And I testify uh, kind of like you've been doing <laughs> on yeah, the earth. <laughs> I, I testify about how God met every one of our needs during that financial time. You know, yeah. I was never late with the bill, never mm -hmm. not had food. I mean, it might have been hot dogs and eggs, but I still had food for my family. Yeah. So we have to thank God and bless Him in the good times and in the bad times. And in the bad times. Well, the, yeah. and I said this yesterday. The first, the first thing I did after my son was taken to heaven, the first thing I said, thank you, Jesus, for taking my son to heaven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, what greater thing can a mother get that their son is saved in, in heaven, you yeah. know? And that was the first thing I did. Now, have I wept since then? You betcha. Oh, yeah. I know where my son is. I know the call he had from God, that what he's doing in heaven. But there's times I think of my grandkids and I think, wow, I remember that day when he was right before he died. He got on the floor and he put my grandson's toy together, his son, you know, and then you cry. So, yeah, no, I'm not saying that you're not going to have emotions. We're still in the flesh. Yeah. But we thank God for every situation we go through, good or bad. Good or and bad. It's also important that we stay true to the, thing, the conduct that God called us to do. Because right. in this story, uh, the Potiphar's wife apparently had a, a thing. Oh, wait. Uh, before I dive in a little bit further, guys, there's a, a sermon I often heard called From the Pit to the Palace. God yeah. uses our circumstances sometimes right. to shape godly characters. That's uh, right. Yeah. And That's sometimes, right. let's just say, it's kind of amazing, like, he yeah. had to learn about how to lead it and yes. how to govern. Well, he will, he's governing here. <laughs> and, you know, from the pit to the palace, another thing I say, which we haven't gotten there, is Joseph went to sleep at night being in a pri as prisoner. Yeah. And the next day he was ruler over Egypt. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we don't know where God's taken us from, where he's taken us to. But if mm -hmm. we're trusting in him, then everything in our life is going to be right. Yeah. We're going to be right where we're supposed to be. Right where we're supposed to be. Yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> all right. So let me go on here. Okay. The Lord was with Joseph. Yeah. So he became a successful man. Success is different to every person. Mm -hmm. Success to me is that both my children, my sons, serve the Lord. Yeah. Okay, that's success to me. Success to somebody else might be 
a boat and a mansion. Mm. If that's your success, that's wow. Awesome. Mm. Your success might be God has called you to do this, Barry, that he hasn't called many people to yeah. do, and you're doing it. That's success. Oh, yeah. You know, we all have different stories of success, what they would be, mean to us. And he was in the house of his master, the Egyptian. Now his master saw how the Lord was with him. He saw how the Lord was with him and how the Lord caused all that he did to prosper in his hand. Mm -hmm. See, when we're with the Lord, people are going to see it. Mm -hmm. gonna, they should be able to see it on us. So Joseph found favor in his sight and became his personal servant. And he became his personal servant. And he made him overseer over all the house. Yep. And, and he, all that he owned, he put in his charge. What that's called is promotion. Yep. Okay, he got promotion. People, there was a time I was passed over something <laughs> that I thought should have been mine. And um, God just healed me. And it took years to be healed. But mm -hmm. he healed me. And I got to the place where I said, okay, God, I know that all promotion comes from you. So if man doesn't hasn't done it, mm -hmm. that means it wasn't your will. No, my life because nobody can override god's will you know mm -hmm. so god brings the promotion here's this joseph he was the the the, the you know the favored son then mm -hmm. he became nothing in a pit and then he was bought by potiphar as a slave and he's working for potiphar now he has found favor and has a promotion in potiphar's house he mm -hmm. kept having the gift of leadership okay it came about that from this time he made him overseer in the house and over all that he owned, the Lord blessed the Egyptian's house on account of Joseph. Thus, the Lord's blessing was upon all that he owned in his house. Mm -hmm. and field. People can be blessed just by knowing us. Yeah. You know, I know people are thinking, really, how's that going to happen? Well, it does. It's in the word. Okay. So he left everything he owned in Joseph's charge. He totally trusted Joseph. Mm -hmm. And with and with him there, he did not concern himself about anything except the food which he ate because they would never let Jews cook for them because they didn't think Jew Hebrews could cook the same way they did. Yeah. Okay. So now Joseph was handsome in oh. form and appearance, and it came about after these things that his master's wife looked with desire on Joseph, and she said, lie with me. <laughs> okay, but he refused because he was a man of integrity, just like Jesus. And he said to the master's wife, behold, with me here, my master does not concern himself with anything in this house because he trusts me. He put me in charge. And he said, there is no one greater in this house than I. And he has, he has, because you, and he has even nothing with me except from you, his wife. He's held nothing from me except you, his wife, because you are his wife. How then could I do this evil thing and sin against God? No. See, he didn't say sin against your husband. He said, I would be sinning against God. Right. I want you to understand that when we sin, we're sinning against God. As she spoke to Joseph day after day, he would not listen to her, to lie beside her or be with her. Now, it happened one day that he went into the house to do some work and none of the men in the household were there. Mm. My husband and I have a rule. No man is allowed in my house unless he's there. No women are allowed in our house unless I'm there. <laughs> You've just got to protect yourselves. Yeah. When we do children's church, there's uh, got to be two people there with the children. There has to be because they, the children need to be protected and the people need to be protected. Right. All right. That's called wisdom. She caught him by his garment saying, lie with me. And he left the garment in her hand and fled and went outside. Yeah. When she saw that he had left the garment in her hand, she fled outside. And she called to the men of the household and said to them, see, he has brought in a Hebrew to us and to make sport with me. Mm. He came to me to lie with me, and I screamed. When I heard that I raised my voice, when he heard that I raised my voice and screamed, he left his guard beside me and fled and went outside. Yeah. These are lies. We all know this. Yes. And she left the garment beside her until the master got home. Then she spoke to his, her husband when he got home and said, the Hebrew slave who you brought to us came in to make sport of me. And as I raised my voice and screamed, he left the garment beside me and fled outside. Yeah. 
It's all lies. Yeah. She did because she didn't get her way. Okay. Now I just want to read you know, a couple of things about that. Okay. Joseph found I have here it saying that he had thought, he had found favor with Potiphar's wife. Yeah. Unfortunately, in the wrong way, she accused him of rape. Okay. Um. And 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 he ended up in prison. She called him the Hebrew slave. You know what that means? It was a racial slur against Jews. Mm. That's what it was. It was a racial slur. Again, he found prison. Then he goes, he's going to go to prison. Okay. Now I want to, I want to show you some, some, some things here. This is really interesting. Okay. The first garment was mm. his coat. It was used to cover up sin. Remember that? Yeah. He took his coat and said to the father, look, Joseph was killed by an animal. The second garment, his jacket, was used to accuse him of sin. You see, do you see that? Hmm. He took the jacket and said, he left it here and he tried to rape me. So the jacket was proof that he was there. All right. On um, the second time he was given all authority, there was training. There was training along the way for the big plan of God. This was training for the big plan of God. God allowed these circumstances to happen in, in Joseph's life. And people would say, oh, what kind of God would do that? The kind of God that is knowing that Joseph's going to be in prison for a couple of years. Yep. He's going to save the whole nation from starvation. Okay. This little bit of sacrifice on Joseph's part was to fulfill the big picture of what Joseph was going to do in life. And God mm -hmm. looks at things that way. We look at our current circumstances. This is just not good, God. Mm. This is not good, God. Our church had a fire. This is not good, God. And what are we going to do now? We lost everything. You know, we lost microphone. We lost everything. <laughs> and then God has gives us the the town gives us a place to have our church on Sunday morning. Yep. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Fridays, everything happens in my house. <laughs> and you could say, well, that's a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. I even cook for them Tuesday. You know, Barry, you've been there two weeks in a row. I just. <laughs> think it's a great family time okay mm -hmm. for whoever comes and our church has gotten tighter and tighter and tighter because we're like family mm -hmm. okay we've come together every day yeah. we really have you know so so was the fire a terrible thing absolutely but god took that circumstance and totally taught the church that the church is not the building no. it's us getting together bible studies praying family yep. eating together yeah, okay i'm going to stop talking about that now okay um mm. so we're going to go on in this story here okay joseph's in prison now okay yep. verse 19 now when his master heard the words of his wife which he spoke to him saying this is what your slave did to me this is what your slave did to me anger burned in the husband wouldn't wouldn't it burn in your life right <laughs> So Joseph's master took him and put him into the jail, the place where the king's prisoners were confined. And he was there in the jail. Yep. But the Lord was with Joseph. We yep. are in the jail. Oh, yeah. And yeah. I wasn't at any jail. That was the king's dungeon. That's right. That's right. But God extended kindness to him and gave him favor in the sight of the chief jailer. Again, he finds favor in the sight of the chief jailer. The chief jailer committed to Joseph's charge all the prisoners who were in the jail. He became the head prisoner, Joseph. Yep. First the head one in Potiphar's house, in his father's house, and now in jail. Head head person. So that whatever was done there, he was responsible for it. He was a trustworthy man. God had favor on Joseph. Yeah. The, chief, the chief jailer did, did not supervise anything under Joseph's charge because the Lord was with him. And whatever he did, the Lord made him to prosper. Yeah. Okay. So um, I'm just going to read a little further. Okay. We're, do you want to go to the next chapter yet? Um, we might have. Well, well right. and uh, at, well, I let you want to uh, say so in, uh, 40 and uh, for 41 on the next week because the two kind of blend together. Okay. Why don't we do that then? Okay. All right. So this is the, the but the thing that I saw in this whole chapter that we read was what the Lord was with Joseph, yeah, through the good and through the bad, yeah. Okay, so we will we will stop here, and um, we'll, we'll pick up next week on forty and forty one.